what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? The FBI is up to its old dirty tricks again of targeting black people who protest inequality and expose the dirty deeds of members of law enforcement. The most famous example of this was COINTELPRO that they rolled out in 1956 with the explicit intent to expose, disrupt, misdirect, and discredit members of the black community that they deem to be black nationalists. This is according to the FBI's own documents. This is the government of the United States of America who spends a great deal of time trying to convince the rest of the world that they are for a free society, that they are the leaders of democratic values. In this report that was obtained in August, by Foreign Policy Magazine. It states, from the agency's Domestic Terrorism Analysis Unit, it appears to point that the FBI monitoring black rights activists from movements such as Black Lives Matter because of the perceived threat they pose to law enforcement personnel. It appears to be the first publicized mention of the term black identity extremist as an apparent movement from an official U.S. body. Oh, they're concerned. See, it's cool to beat up people, brutalize people. It's cool to deny people their basic human rights. It's cool to gun them down, take life. But what ain't cool is for somebody to stand up and say that ain't cool. That ain't cool. We got to get you then. We got to come get you. You a threat. Never mind the fact that you could put all of these organizations together and it wouldn't total the 59 murders that took place in Las Vegas a few days ago by a white man. Which, by the way, a white man who is part of a certain segment of society that's responsible for more terrorism against the United States than anybody. I'm talking about anybody. I'm talking about all of the black nationalists, uh, anti this, anti that, put all the ISIS and the Al-Qaeda's and all of them, put them all together and they haven't caused more debts than these white guys out here that are neo-Nazis and skinheads and white supremacists and all of that. They're the biggest threat to America. But here's the deal. The biggest threat to them is anybody who chooses to expose them. So, the government of the United States is part of white supremacy. They are a big part of that. That is the only reason why white supremacists has been able to thrive so long in America, because there are many people in American government who actively participate in white supremacy, including the president of the United States. He is a white supremacist. All of his actions states that he's a white supremacist. Much of what he says indicates that he's a white supremacist. It supports that. But what they got mad about is when the sportscaster call, actually called him a white supremacist. Now, the thing is that he's probably proud of, he's proud of being a white supremacist. He's proud of it because he's not doing anything to try to change it. And he has a whole cabinet full of people who promote policies that go against equality. So their whole thing is to maintain white supremacy. That's why you, all of these people that he put on his cabinet, these are all people that he trusts to maintain the status quo and try to return America back to the old glory days where 
white men were at the top of the tier exclusively and everybody else was treated like second and third class citizens. See, that's the honest truth. And that's what they don't like. So you got all of these mass murders. I can't even name them. There's so many of them. You got Columbine, Aurora. You got Vegas. You got Oh, damn. How, man, I ain't got a name. Y'all know what they are. But black identity extremists are the biggest threat to America. Black. So he didn't name neo-Nazis. Who, by, who, by the way, many of our ancestors died fighting. Remember that? fighting the neo-Nazis. And now he's saying that there are neo-Nazis that are good people. They're not the threat. The white nationalist who ran his car into a crowd of people and killed a woman in Charlottesville, Virginia, uh, they're not the threat. The threat is not the white guy who killed 59 people in Vegas. Ah, it's not the white guys. No, 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 no. The threat is those black people who are complaining about being violated. Complaining about being violated. Not the white guys who are actually going out there doing some killing about their complaints. Doing some killing in relation to their complaints. It's amazing, man. The hypocrisy is indeed amazing. So this is the this is the game. These are the Jedi mind tricks that they play. We're gonna we gotta come up with some black identity uh, extremists. Oh yeah, you can put extremists on anything, and white people will lose their minds. Just put extreme. Just call it extreme. Black identity extremists. We got. Oh, that's scary enough. Yeah, that's scary enough. That'll get them going. Kind of reminds you of Black Panthers. Yeah, that's scary. And we're going to say they're a threat. And we're going to say that we need to do something about it. And one of the things that they say, they like to say that the FBI uh, assesses this threat over alleged police misconduct. Alleged police brutality against black. Ain't no alleged shit. It's happening. The police is brutalizing black. It's not allegedly. They used the ledge in there a few times in the report. They used the ledge a few times. No, it's not any, it's nothing alleged. This is what is happening. You are brutalizing black people. You are killing black people with impunity. So they're saying that the reason why that's such a threat is because of the alleged police brutality. You know what? You don't, you don't even have to have the damn report. If y'all just stop killing, stop targeting black people, stop killing black people, and you ain't got to worry about anybody coming up with the bright idea to bust back or to do something to harm, to bring harm to law enforcement officials. You don't have to worry about none of that. They want to be able to kill black people with impunity, brutalize black people with impunity, and they want black people to suffer silently. <laughs> Let's do the math according to the FBI. 168 black Americans have been shot and killed by the police in 2017 alone. Law enforcement has killed 748 people in all this year so far. That's 748 lives and less than 10 months, with a quarter of them being black. You tell me, when black people represent 13% of the population, if that's disproportionate or not, do the math. Meanwhile, the report lists six cases of premeditated murder against police officers. That includes the killing of five police officers in Dallas. Yet, 
they try to make it appear as though black people have some great conspiracy to murder police officers. Six incidents, y'all, when y'all know that they gun down black people all the time for nothing, for nothing. And we're talking about hundreds of cases every single year, every single year. This is happening. And you got a black person kill the police six times and they, oh, we got black extremists. We got a, we got a they number one threat. When white boys, white men are killing police at an all time high. What's odd and ironic is that white men have more advantages in America than any other single demographic, period. Yet, they seem to be the most angry all the time. Rush Limbaugh, you mean to tell me he's not a threat? You mean to tell me Glenn Beck ain't on the list? Richard Spencer, Jason Kessler, Steve Bannon, Stephen Miller? You mean to tell me Ann Coulter is not on the list? Tommy Lauren? They're not on the list. Bill O'Reilly ain't on that list. Oh, they're not a threat. That's right. Ah, they're white. That's right. They can be as mad as they want. They can be mad as the government as they want. They can call for the assassination of sitting presidents. Well, as long as he's black. They can say whatever they want to say. Because they're white. So they're not a threat. They're not extreme. You're only extreme if you're black and you got an opinion. And it differs from ours. Yeah, that's extremist. That's extreme. <laughs> the FBI knows that if they can scare white people the way they did with the Black Panthers, they can pretty much get away with anything they want to, including murder. It's sad. What's sadder is that it's so many people in America that's so easily fooled, including black people. I mean, they should be the first ones suspicious, but man, they spread the little propaganda and black people start turning on black people like, yeah, yeah, maybe he is a threat. <laughs> it's crazy. But every time America does this, every time the FBI does this, they lose a little bit more credibility on the world stage and definitely with the American people. Y'all keep in mind, just because it's the FBI doesn't mean that they're righteous, that I and FBI don't stand for integrity. I don't know what the hell they stand for, but it don't stand for integrity. Y'all remember, this is the same FBI that labeled Martin Luther King Jr. a terrorist. Let that sink in. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.